Can we put being a hero on a standardized test? Because I know a girl who is 14 but is forced to be 40. She fiddles with a latch key hidden in the pocket of her ripped jeans as she watches that hour hand hit three and six hour, signaling she's now on the clock. Now, she doesn't go to robotics club or swim practice or run home and catch another nap on her mattress, no. This girl walks two miles to a government-funded daycare where she picks up her two little sisters and carries the pair two more miles to her two-bedroom home. Her dad will be back at 11 and his next shift starts at seven. And mom, well, she's been out of the picture for over a year. And so this girl has to pick up her dad's half-empty cans of beer. She tries to steer the youngest from sticking a fork in a socket. And on the other side of the room, the other sister's temper bursts like a rocket. And after making dinner with the last little bit of money in her pocket and eating last and doing dishes and giving baths and brushing hair and trying to find two sets of clean pajamas for her sisters to wear and giving the older child two puffs from her Advair, then soothing the baby's cries and reading Goodnight Moon three times. This girl sits at the table and does her homework. Somehow this girl passed all of her classes last semester. Even when the weight of her own reality pressed down so hard that it threatened to stretch her beyond her ability to believe that life could ever get better. This girl passed all of her classes last semester. This girl's a superhero. She conquers algebra by day and the odds by night. But how do you quantify her story? Can I wrap it up real nice on a test and send it back to the state to report on her progress? Can I send my governor her story and convince him that results happen outside of the SAT? Can I let college admissions board see that the C this girl received in English class signaled more than the fact that she passed, but that this 14-year-old who worked second shift was standing dangerously on the tip of Everest, but is now another step away from that precipice? And I can see it in her bright brown eyes that this girl knows that she's going to ski down this mountain instead of tumble. Because you see, I teach this girl without worrying what the test will say. And I remind her that someday you will be able to write on your resume that you work well under pressure. And if an interviewer asks, you can give them concrete examples of your ability to multitask. And you can tell that story of how you passed every last class while raising your two little sisters. And someday when you have your own little girl, you'll know how to rock her to sleep at night. And you can teach her how to work hard. And you can show her how to mountain climb. I mean, can we put heroism on a standardized test? Can we measure perseverance with a three-hour exam that tells us which student is best? There is a jurisdiction designed to assign value to children with limited measure, an all-powerful set of numbers and letters that tell us which student is better than the other. And there's a spotlight fixed to the peak of a towering A, trying to illuminate wrong from right, ignoring hearts and shining bright on the left sides of brains that tell us which student is smart. You, child, are 72% of what we deem is best. Your intelligence is average, according to this test. You see, you need to try harder or you will become a failure. Well, this voice is the last thing this girl needs to hear when she wonders if Medicaid is going to cover her sister's inhaler. The system is sometimes threatening to impale her because the only ones she has to tell her, oh no, girl, you are magnificent, are a couple of teachers. And the presence of this looming beast is making it harder for them to reach her. But this girl has calluses on her young hands. And working hard is something she does understand. Maybe she just needs a system that gives her story weight and more people in her life that tells her that it's going to be okay. Because those C's that she earned are worth far more than an A.